Is the Champions Cup semi-final between Leinster and Toulouse on Saturday the greatest game of club rugby ever? Sounds like a huge statement to make, but I will qualify. I want to talk about it. I believe it may well be. This is Egg Chasers. I'm Tim, and I'm really hoping, if I haven't already, I will earn your subscription on this video. Please hit subscribe. I would love it if you did, and leave your comments as well. Uh, this is just a place for rugby fans. I'm one and uh, you're one, so let's get into it. Is that an, too much of an outlandish statement to make? The greatest game of club rugby ever? I think it has the potential to be, and let me qualify that. We have a game at the semi-final level in the, well, the toughest competition in club rugby in the world and the premier competition in Northern Hemisphere club rugby. You've got the most decorated team in European rugby history in Toulouse. Absolutely stacked with French internationals, Roman Untermach and Thomas Ramos, a pack full of mutants, Julian Marchand, Cyril Bai, Emmanuel Mayafu, uh, Richie Arnold. And the list goes on. And one name I haven't mentioned yet, but I must name is Antoine Dupont, the, the greatest player on earth right now. And I think, and let, let's, let's put this game in absolute context, we're witnessing a player in his prime who I think we will, be, we, we will regard in Antoine Dupont as the greatest person ever to play rugby union. Certainly in the World Cup and modern professional era, the GOAT in the making. It's not there yet but I think he's on his way to being the GOAT. So that's one side. And the most decorated team in European European rugby history already having got their fifth trophy, their fifth star, going up against a team that are absolutely desperate to join them in Leinster, a team absolutely stacked with Ireland internationals. And what makes this year different from any other year in the Champions Cup when these two teams have met or equivalent teams is this is also currently the world number one team in Ireland, represented massively by Leinster against the world number two team and the favourites for the Rugby World Cup, represented heavily by Toulouse. Two club teams who contribute massively, more than any other club, significantly than anyone else to their national teams who are the two best teams on earth. This is set up to be absolutely massive. And I think, I'm hoping we're talking about this in the context of the greatest club game of all time. Will it be a tense affair? Will there be nerves? I, I, I'm sure there will be. I am absolutely buzzing to be there. I'll be in Dublin working for BT Sport. And I will try and um, uh, bring some content from the stadium as well and from the day there. Um, as I did do when I was at Gloucester um, in the Gallagher Premiership for their game against Sale at the weekend. And if you haven't seen that content and you'd appreciate some of this behind-the-scenes type stuff, please give that a watch and a like and, and leave your comments there as well. So I thought what I would do is, these are my predicted teams. We're going to get the teams uh, announced at, what, midday on Friday? Uh, well, that's certainly when English teams announce theirs. I'm not sure about French or, or Irish, um, but certainly by Friday lunchtime, we'll have the teams. So um, in the meantime, let me just have a, a little prediction of who I think will play or may play. I'll get out of the way. And there we go. And it's, um, a, well, obviously, Johnny Sexton is not there. And the big news this week, James Lowe will not be there. And that's a big loss for Leinster. His left boot, as much as anything, James Lowe gets Leinster out of some serious trouble. Um, other than that, other than those two, the big boosts are that Ryan Baird is back in training. So hopeful that he will be selected. Love him. And, um, there was another one as well. Who else is back in training? That I've oh oh jo how can I forget Josh Van der Fleer, World Player of the Year. How did I not mention him before now? Um, so it may well be a different lineup. I'm not exactly sure how Leinster are going to line up. Will Ryan Baird uh, go straight back into the back row at the expense of Jack Conan, or might Kalen Doris stay at flanker at six and? Jack Conan come in and then Baird or Maloney or even Jenkins at second row. That could well be the case. I think the back line pretty much picks itself, partly because of injury. There's not a huge amount of um, choice there for Leinster in terms of their frontline players. Who they go for on the bench may be different. Uh, Harry Byrne and Kieran Frawley. I, th I think Kieran Frawley might, 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 you might get Charlie Natai or, or someone else being selected there. We will see. 
Um, I, I could even see Jason Jenkins starting in second row. I mean, he was signed to be a big unit, and this is a game against a massive pack where they're going to need big units. So I think that'll be broadly the team. And I'm going to do a combined team once we've had a look at Toulouse. And again, there may be some changes from this lineup. This is my best guess at who they will pick. And hopeful that Julian Marchand will be back and fit at hooker. And if so, I imagine him to come off the bench and Piato Malvaca to continue starting at hooker. But Cyril by Dorian Aldegheri and Malvaca is a very tidy front row. Uh, big men in the engine room. Thibaut Flamont, an international lock, arguably, well, you know, he was one of the best players during the Six Nations, arguably the best forward at the Six Nations. And uh, he, I imagine, will be in the back row with Jack Willis and Francois Crow. And then those half-back pairings and the back three. Gas to burn. Hoping that Juan Cruz Malia is actually fit. He may well not be. But Thomas Ramos versus Hugo Keenan. That is a massive matchup. In fact, that, that might be the matchup I'm most excited about in, in across the whole pitch. Thomas Ramos and Hugo Keenan are absolutely class. So I've taken these two sides and I've tried to create a combined 15. If I had access to all third, all, well, all 46 players and I just put each one head to head, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. So I'm not moving people out of their position into other shirts. Who would I go for? And my combined team, I'd love to know your comments. Tell me what you think. But mine looks like that. And I've gone for the whole... Leinster front row. I think Cyril Bayer is great and he's pushing Andrew Porter massively. I think potentially Cyril Bayer a better set-piece prop. Andrew Porter a better prop around the field. Um, but yeah, I look at that front five and I would be I would be comforted by that if I were Leinster. You sort of think with Toulouse and with French teams, it's going to be the power game that comes to the fore as, as La Rochelle did last year. Uh, but no, I think Leinster are going to be able to match the power game. I think possibly where Toulouse are going to have the edge, if they have an edge, um, is firstly slowing Leinster's ball down, which no team has managed to do yet. But I think with Jack Willis and Francois Cross, they've got a really good back row that, can, that could do that. However, I've still picked Caelan Doris and Josh van der Fleer in the back row. And just six against six, Ryan Baird, Thibaut, Flamont. I, I could quite happily have gone with Ryan Baird. Um, I just... Gave Flamont the edge just because he played so well in the Six Nations. What I mean, the, the I guess the point in this is, it's flips. It's the flip of a coin in the whole pack. It is the flip of a coin for pretty much every shirt. However, it's not a flip of the coin when it comes to the halfbacks, and it's not a flip of the coin when it comes to the centres. So, I think the packs will will equal each other out. I think DuPont and Untermach could be difference makers for Toulouse. I mean, that's an obvious thing to say with DuPont. Is it just a difference maker in general? But it's that Henshaw-Ringrose combination, which I think actually could be the basis of Leinster's win. Gary Ringrose in particular, just deadly. Um, I, I was, as you'll see in videos that's already in this feed from back in the Six Nations and before the Six Nations, I think he might be Ireland's most important player and the hardest to replace. I kind of, Jimmy O'Brien played in that absolute drubbing of Toulouse last year. So maybe it's a bit harsh not having Jimmy O'Brien in there, but I've just gone with the gas that Toulouse have got on their wings. And I went for Hugo Keenan over Thomas Ramos at fullback. But again, these are tosses of a coin. And, and that's what is exciting me so much about this game is, I, honestly, I, I could pick maybe 10, I could change 10 of those players, flip them from blue to red or red to blue. And... I'd be quite happy thinking that's an incredible team. And uh, on that basis, I cannot wait for this. Uh, I think it's all set. I, I think Leinster, I, I think it'll be much closer than last year. Don't get me wrong. Last year, um, Toulouse, and I was at the Aviva Stadium for Toulouse winning on the, the kick penalty shootout thing at the end against Munster. Um, and, and they had all of that in their legs when they had to then travel again to come and play Leinster. They haven't had to travel in the knockout rounds. They've had a good break, a week off, and now they're coming to Leinster fresh. It will be a different game to last year, but I still think Leinster will have enough. I think they're 
the, the the game plan, the cohesion, the fact everyone knows what they're doing, the hive mind lengths to have, the intelligence of the running lines, the quality of the handling and of the decisions, even without Johnny Sexton and without James Lowe now, I still expect Leinster to have too much for Toulouse. But make no mistake, I could quite easily see a Toulouse win. And this is proper rugby. It's the best quality of rugby you're going to see outside of the Rugby World Cup knockout stages and a few of the pool games when it's the big guns against each other. This is epic and bring it on. And like I say, I'll try and bring you some content uh, more building up to the game and from Dublin as well. And so for that reason, uh, and if you appreciate the effort, hit subscribe and I will see you on the next video.